Well, I mean, heart crotch. It's that's where the heart lies. Get out, Will. <laughs> We're live. I'm hoping Hi. that everything works. It's good. Oh boy. Yay. That was Yay. I spent like it's an Okay, we're here. I spent an hour after work here. redoing the setup, making sure everything worked, doing tests. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Do we need to like sync clap or anything? Sure, we let's all clap. On one, two, three. We all clapped at different times. It's fine. I also really think a lot of our audio is not going to catch it because it's not a voice. Oh, it's gotcha. Just, it's just mine, but yeah. Or you it's can like speak and clap. Hello. Here, I'll <laughs> clap. I know. Clap. I'm going You're to gonna, like take off your headphones like Toto Wolf and just like. <laughs> no, Mike. No, no, Mike. That was so not right. I'm going to do the <laughs> intro now. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, episode two of Gumpla with Friends. We're here despite nearly 40 minutes of technical difficulties, but we're here. We're going to have some fun. I'm back again with my friends Emily, Will, and Dana. You met them last episode. Uh, I hope you didn't forget about them. Does everybody want to talk? They got something to say. I'm not going to do the whole thing. It's fine. Um, we got about Will. We should have yeah. just let you. We should have let you go on. <laughs> These people again. Say so we're oh, continuing. We get used to it. We're continuing to build people? the uh, entry grade RX-78 to Gundam. They are all very far ahead of me. I am very far behind. So I'm going to try to. Where are you? I, I still haven't finished the head. What? Well, I'm so working on another Gundam, so there's that. I didn't do that today. I mean. Well, you're oh. you're you have like the the perfectionist like sanding thing. Yeah, that, I guess that's true. I don't. Yeah, and I like I can see now like the helmet has like that like mold line right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I don't like that, but I don't know if I want to sand that down because what if like I just like demorph it yeah there was like one place where i sanded it and i'm like i think it yeah. would have looked better if i didn't sand it yeah just keep... like it gets like bumpy yeah yeah those sometimes just kind of keep working in it with the the higher grits kind of kind of keep buffing it mm. it is tough though like if you're not painting it it's harder to hide those kind of things mm. yeah I think I've decided that I wanted to do a, um, uh oh, did I just put it together before I needed to? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do like a green and gold kind of thing. Ooh. Green, gunmetal, and gold. That sounds I didn't fun. think about colors. That sounds fun. I mean, you don't have to color it. You can just keep it as is. Yeah. What if I actually do like a magical girl mecha build? Go for it. They're actually it's Sailor Moon. There is. I know there's a yeah. Hello Kitty one. There's a Hello Kitty one. Yeah. There's a. Yeah. There's one from G Gundam. It's like uh, a fem, quote unquote, like female shaped Gundam, but it's like dressed in like well, not dressed. It's like styled after like a sailor uniform, so it looks like. Oh. Kind of, which is weird because it was also the Gundam for Neo Sweden, so it didn't make any sense that it looked like a Japanese schoolgirl. You know, there's a lot of things about G Gundam that did make a lot of sense. Yeah, but they were like, with G Gundam, they're like, oh, America, dumb boxer thing. Mexico, tequila oh. Gundam. It's like, they were so stereotypical oh. with all the countries. And then Sweden, they were like, I don't know, Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> oh, there's a little heart in this piece. Oh, yeah. well, that's for like the little uh, yellow crotch piece. Is it? It's it, it, it. Oh. 
it's not the heart, like the actual heart of the Gundam. No, I think that's its crotch. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, heart crotch. It's that's where the heart lies. Get out, Will. Uh, did you say get out? I did. Yeah. You did. You told me to leave my own no. home. No. Wait, I wasn't supposed to. I had. I have actually another one of these uh, entry grade kits. One kits. I don't know why I have two, but I do have two. And the other one, I kind of want to do, just like a black pink one. Because that would be fun. Like the black K-pop pink, group, like black pink. Yeah. Because yeah. I also like. <laughs> There's that, I don't know if you, there's that company that makes that, like, Are very you, um, black paint. What? Like, the black 3.0. Like it's like that, but it's like, I think it's called Black 3.0. And it's kind of cheaper. Oh, it's way cheaper. And then they also make, like, the pinkest pink ever. So, like, that would be fun. But I also know those paints are very delicate to use. So it's, like, mm. maybe not great for a plastic model. That you can. I saw a... Oh. Like a video of a car that had like a Venta black uh, paint job, and like once it was all done, you you could only see the headlights. Everything else is just like dark. Good. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Like and yeah, imagine like driving at night with that, but not Would driving it like like someone else, and like you see that car coming towards you. Well, they're uh, <laughs> they're doing something illegal. I yeah. imagine. Well, not only yeah. that, but there's so many times I've driven in, uh, I want to say California, Texas, uh, everywhere, where people mm. just didn't have their headlights on, and it was like pitch black out. So I can't mm. imagine what that will be like, just driving, and I'm like, oh, I can turn, there's nothing there. And it was just, yeah. <laughs> it's been like the whole time since you started recording, just looking for the little, like, like the... What they called? What are these? These are like lightsaber. Uh, beam sabers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beam sabers. Yeah. yeah. Beam sabers. Speaking of beam sabers, have any of you played Beat Saber yet? No. Negative. Well, anytime y'all want to come down to Texas, where the people can't drive, <laughs> you want to come stay with us. Uh, one of our friends, Ratana, he lives down here. We got to hang. We get to hang out with him. Um, he has a Oculus Quest 2, and oh. we had a chance to play Beat Saber, and it's so much fun. Yeah, I heard it's worth it. Yeah, I definitely have a great time. And I mean, you're working out too, like, you're working up a sweat. Is it the one that has like a, like a thing where you can stand on and you can like run? Oh, no, in, not in that. one it's place. Thing? I, have, I know what like, you're talking about, these, but it isn't yeah. that one. Okay. I, I've seen those like circle treadmills, like depending where you face, it'll like it'll let you walk in that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That but just sounds scary. like a nightmare to me. It's like like running in dreams. You're just like oh. <laughs> yeah. not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I saw that it like when you do too much VR, it messes up your dreams like you dream more oh really Ooh. or i oh. think you i think you lucid dream more so you know that you're dreaming which could be kind of cool but That's also like Ooh. now you don't get a break That's so it's scary. Like, i was supposed to shut off what's going on yeah my brain no, like bonus level could we not <laughs> yeah i wish we just had like a i'm powering down now goodbye <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Power off. Guys, I've, <laughs> I finished the head so we can move on to the body. Okay. Yikes. Uh, yikes. All right, you, you cut the pieces out so it's not like they're not, you know. I haven't cut them. Oh, wait, no, that's the am... Never mind. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> Mine's the gray one, hers is the green one. Yep. I've, I've just realize that and i uh you know you know about them patriots right like you know they don't have tom brady no more so like what are they gonna do <laughs> they have mac jones the mac attack is that a is that a real player i don't know anything about american football he looks he looks like 
he just got out of high school. Oh, little oh. baby. <laughs> but I mean, that's Wait. a good thing. If he can play like 20 years, he's going to be so rich. I mean, well, yeah. He's already rich, probably. This is true. Yeah, we should talk about soccer instead. I'd rather not I mean, because my team sucks and it's painful. Well, Aww. so does mine. Oh, we, we all suck together. Well, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but my first language is Spanish. So football to me is actually soccer because you mm-hmm. kick the ball with your foot. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when I when I when I moved to the U.S., I moved to Texas. I was born in Texas, so it was like let's watch football. And I was like, oh yeah, I love football. And I'm like, <laughs> what is this? This is not football. Nope. You know, it doesn't. It's still you know. It's ingrained in, in us in the U.S., but it still doesn't make sense. I mean, you know, like I guess I would call it throw ball instead of football or the, handball. The handball. Brits. I, I tried actually, like, yeah. They, what do they call it? Like, uh, footy. Yeah, yeah, footy. But like the Brits hate when Americans call it soccer, but they invented the damn word soccer. It's yeah. like it's yeah. your oh fault. God. It's your fault that you made like five sports all called football, so you had to give them all different yeah. names. Yeah, Wait, they so to, like differentiate like the lower class people that played soccer, and then the like the elite like I don't know like college people that played soccer. So they gave it two different names. I think I don't know. Maybe Max. Well, it's maybe. like rug. Ru- there's like rugby. Rugby and soccer all yeah. originate from the same sport. And there's also like two different versions like, of rugby. Rugby is more like, feels more close to like American football to me. Because mm-hmm. it's like throwing their body. Yeah. And then there's Australian rules <laughs> yeah, football. That's so oh, yeah. weird. I love seeing uh, women's rugby. They're so intense. They are like, they all have like blood coming out of their mouth and like <laughs> spitting out teeth. And they're like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have like Neymar who just like gets touched a little bit and he's all like Oh Blake. <laughs> all of you met in college? Uh, mm-hmm. well no? technically yeah, but not me and Dana. Will and Dana met in college, but Dana went to a different college. Um, yeah, so someone I was dating at the time uh visited uh, the college that they go to went to mm-hmm. and they were part of the same uh, scholarship program. So I ended up like meeting him kind of like a randomly off the cuff way. And then yeah. we were, we had commented on something similar that a, a, a mutual friend was mm-hmm. talking about. We were talking about games, I think um, mm-hmm. and it was either middle gear or I think it was something middle gear related. He was like, oh, Final Fantasy. He was like, hey, I like Final mm-hmm. Fantasy. I mm-hmm. like Final Fantasy, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we realized that we lived pretty close to each other, and so we just started hanging out. And then oh. it was just like, we were inseparable. Yeah. <laughs> best friends. The best part about this story is, like, he has no idea that we were just talking about it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm nowhere near the same place as all of you, but if you have questions, please ask me. I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about seam lines and removing seam lines, which is always well, fun. Well, talk yeah. about that, because that's something that we're doing right now. Yeah, uh, I am trying to do, do that. Let's see. Oh, let me get an example. Let me move my Do you course. recommend doing it while the pieces are on or off? For what? Seam lines or molds? Well... Seam lines or are mold lines. Sorry. Mold lines you can just do just do on the piece whenever you know. Seam lines are a different kind of thing, and I will demonstrate that with some lines right here. So what's so a for, seam line and what's a? Uh, sorry. No, you're good. That's that right. was your question. <laughs> so, uh, we'll start with like the nub marks are what's left over from. Cutting off the, oh, cutting off the, I keep forgetting of this top down camera. Cutting off the runner, like the marks, little things left from these that you cut off, those are the nub marks. So that's what you kind of been saying a lot of. Mm. 
mold lines are from kind of the, you know, molding process. So let's see, like I'd said about the one on the head, then also if you look at the, on the so like torso. The one, like in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. So like uh, the red part in the torso, A217. So if you kind of, so like on the back of it where the nut marks were, and there's that, that kind of very thin line yeah. going across the whole thing near the bottom. Yeah. That's a mold line. Yeah. Or the parts that were the thin line that's on the side of the head, that's a mold line mm -hmm. from the molding process. A oh. seam line is when you, uh, one second, let me shave these down so I don't put two pieces together. Yep. And there's like a line there that's not supposed to be there. Yep. So like if you so like D left. I think I, I actually checked like, on that. I think that's supposed to be there and you can panel line that. So you would put mm -hmm. a, like okay. a gray line. So like but okay. actually that is I'll go over kind of all the solutions for seam lines. So so like a seam line. I found I've been more successful by carefully trimming with the exacto mm -hmm. than trying to buff things. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, yeah. It, no, yeah, it's like but yeah, going on you, it's like you can do a lot of work doing kind of the shaving first and getting good as low as you can kind of thing. So like a seam line, see, like I put these uh, the two leg pieces together. I haven't put them all the way together. There would be a line you can kind of see, like there'll be a line down the middle mm -hmm. that's not supposed yep. to be mm -hmm. there. So if you're not painting the kit, it's obviously a lot harder to hide. Uh, but if you also, if you're just doing a snap build, you probably don't care and that's fine. So there's a few solutions for that. One is you can take, uh, let's see, let me get a tool out. If I can find it. Do so you may... use like the, the putty? Yeah. Like a putty? Mm -hmm. uh, let me get that up too. So I use a putty. I'm just thinking I'm going to work really hard on this and then like one of my kids will just like knock it over. <laughs> <laughs> so they make these kind of you can use either maybe like a chisel but they also use these kind of they also make this kind of chisel where uh I'm not, Whoa. I'm not getting good light here i think your exacto knife is broken <laughs> so there's like a little <laughs> and what you just said is like I feel like when I have kids, they're going to be like, yeah, like there's a, like, there's Legos and all that stuff. But like, I'm not allowed to touch it. Like, yeah. it's going to be me. Oh, I, I bought sorry. new Batman Hot Wheels and I had to buy some for me and some for them. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are for me. Please don't touch it. Or like I have, I have all these, uh, like die cast bigger scale they're like chonky hot wheels Ooh. and i'm Ooh. like no you can't play with those <laughs> like for the dark night but i want to be the dark night yeah go ahead it is Zach. <laughs> so like they make these chisel tools where you can see there's kind of like little like step down on each side a little bit and what you would do is like run that on one half of it. So like get it apart. All right, well, I'm not going to. Basically you would run it down kind of like one side of the leg, and that would create like a panel line. So then instead of a seam line, it's a looks like a panel line. I don't do that a whole lot. Uh, and then the other two methods that I use a lot. So I, my kind of go-to now is this uh, Tamiya liquid, Tamiya liquid uh, surface primer, hmm. which is really great. I was just Do it you was... airbrush it or can you use a paintbrush? Uh, I use actually like a toothpick because it's like, uh, it's kind of hard to clean off a of paper, so I use a toothpick mm -hmm. and I will kind of go into the line and try to fill it and then you can sand it. 
Well, also first backtrack. Uh, if you put like some glue in the seam and then kind of squish it, that glue will melt some plastic. Mm -hmm. And then when you sand that off, mm -hmm. it will fill some of the line. And then this will kind of fill in the rest. But uh, so I use this on any kind of piece that's not going to be white. But on white pieces, I use, yeah, this Tamiya uh, white putty. I just also mm -hmm. noticed that. That looks chaotic. Oh, no, it's very old and it's just kind of. What's up? So, yeah, and then you can sand it down. And that's how I get rid of seam lines. I want to try that, but I'll have to get those things before. I think I may have some putty. Do you feel, Zach, it's like you got to build like 10 kits before you're like, oh, now I know what I'm doing? Um, maybe not that many. I mean, mm -hmm. depends on how you build kits, really. Because, I mean, like, even now, like, I'm still learning new things every time I build. So I'm always, like, Googling, like, how to do this, how to do that. So I think it's like, no, it's I can't. It's hard to put a number on it, really. It, it could depend. One person could do twenty, still not be too good. One person could take their time with three, and get good over that time. Yeah, it would definitely be something like that. So everyone's just different. Yeah, yeah. And then it's maybe like on one kit, maybe you're focusing on like you want the just the seam lines to be good, so you really focus on that. And the next kit, you focus on something else. So maybe. Something. It's like different too. It's not like you're just putting a puzzle together. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. if you were trying to spend time perfectly putting a puzzle together. So like none of the edges chipped or smushed when you put it in. Like you're trying to like perfectly put it together. It my piece. I don't yeah, know if I'm... you can see, but I tried to shave down the. I mean, it looks pretty what good from it? here. Yeah. I used every single one of the little sandpapers. <laughs> every one of them. Yeah. Everyone can watch me bit. struggle, try to get this piece apart. I was going to make a joke and say, so Zach, I threw all mine away because I used them. I have more. <laughs> Joking. They kind of <laughs> look like gum. You know, like they gum. Do. I want to it. Oh yeah, I want I want number eight thousand gum because I didn't get yeah. jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll have to chew on this, Zach. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> My cat like loves this like nail file, or I guess it's called an emery board. Um, hey, she yeah. loves playing with that, and I'm not entirely sure like <laughs> how and why. That's a thing. That's fine. My cat does that. Yeah. Yeah. And she's just, <laughs> she like bites at it too. I'm like, doesn't that feel weird on yeah. your teeth? What? Like The teeth, it's like, I don't think yeah. we should allow that. Right. But like if she scratches it, it's like, oh, we're doing your nails. <laughs> right. Aren't you afraid that your little key teeth are going to get all weird? And like, I don't, I don't speak English. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I think she does. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, we'll be we'll be talking, uh, Kamara and I. We'll just be hanging out and chatting, and then we'll she'll just be in the room, just doing whatever it is, and then we'll literally just be like, yeah. And then five will be like this, and then she'll just look at us. Are you talking about me? Like you you understand your name? Yeah, she probably knows her name. Yeah. And sometimes we won't even say her. We'll say her by her name. We'll just be like, yeah. Isn't she so cute? Such a good cat, and then she'll just look at us. And it's like, yeah, you understand these little little nuance words here. But you don't understand. Stop scratching my carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, she Are does. She does. doesn't give a shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like asking Chopper questions. Like Chopper, if you're Satan, then sit. Or like Chopper, if you're God, <laughs> then sit and see what she does. Hmm. So far, she has said several. She's, so is she, is she's, she Satan? She's kind of gone. Uh, she has sat for Satan. Uh, I think she sat for mm -hmm. also an angel. I don't know if she's ever sat for mm -hmm. God. So she could be like a fallen angel. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
She's th- that's Satan. Yeah. No, what you're if she's just like tired. <laughs> I think she just wants a treat. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I took her for like this five mile walk, and then I was like, sit if you're Satan, <laughs> and she sat. <laughs> Blink, Blink if you know <laughs> what I'm thinking. <laughs> Breathe. It's like that vine is like Misty. Blink once if you're Hitler. Oh my god. What if you just got a winky ass dog? Like, what are you supposed to do? Chopper, if you're the cutest dog in the world, then be super cozy right now. Good girl. <laughs>